so today we discuss on the topic of external fertilization in sea urchin sea urchin shows external fertilization in case of external fertilization the gametes are released into the aqueous environment and ultimately fusion of sperm and egg occur so there are several steps are involved in the external fertilization in sea urchin so now we understand it with the diagram so suppose this is a layer a layer of egg so this is egg white line envelope in a side of egg white line envelope there is a layer that is egg cell membrane so this is egg cell membrane now sperm we drag we draw a sperm of the archin so in the first step so this is the first step in first step what happened chemo attraction so we divided first step into part first chemo attraction chemo attraction of sperm and was b you can say b sperm contact in jelly layer sperm contact jelly layer so this is the structure of sperm this is a sperm of sea archin is released into the aqueous environment or you can say the marine environment this portion is nucleus there is actin that helps in the formation of acrosomal process and the and the most important that is acrosome so this is acrosome what is the role of acrosome acrosome helps in digestion of the jelly coat and this is nucleus and this is actin now there is a jelly coat so there is a jelly coat so when sperm contact with this jelly coat this is jelly coat so when sperm contact with the jelly coat the acrosomal process is formed so this is acrosomal process this is acrosomal process now when jelly coat when sperm contacts with the jelly coat the formation of acrosomal 
process is occurred this is acrosomal process this is the nucleus so what is the role of this acrosomal process the second step is so this is the second step second step is acrosome reaction acrosome reaction so in this step acrosomal vesicle fused with this is acrosomal vesicle this acrosomal vesicle fused with the sperm membrane and the formations of acrosomal process so this is acrosomal process this is acrosomal process acrosomal process so this is formation of acrosomal process is occurred in the next step now the third step so what happened in the third step in third step what happened digestion of digestion of what digestion of jelly coat jelly coat contains some glycoproteins and many others of carbohydrate so when acrosomal vesicle fused with the sperm uh, sperm cell sperm cell membrane it releases some digestive enzyme that digestive enzyme digest the glycoprotein and carbohydrate part that is present in the jelly coat and make a path so to make path through which through which through sorry through jelly coat to eggs vital line envelope so digestion of jelly coat to make the path through jelly coat to x vital line envelope so this portion is egg vital line envelope this is egg vital line envelope egg vital line envelope so sperm cell membrane binds with the egg vital line envelope with the help of acrosomal process now so this is sperm now what is this uh, this is sperm this sperm make a path like make a path through which it enter to the vital line envelope so this is sperm the archin this is the archin sperm and this the archin sperm make a path through which it enters through the vital line envelope so this is acrosomal process so acrosome releases some enzyme that digests the jelly coat and ultimately sperm enter through the jelly coat now in the third step in the third step what happened sorry in the fourth step so in the fourth step for binding binding of sperm to the egg vital line 
in Milok. Now sperm binds with the with this extracellular matrix of egg. So this is the extracellular matrix. This is and this portion is egg cell membrane. So this is the egg cell membrane. 